You know, when I look around at all the entrepreneurs who are grinding it out, spending 70 to 80 hours per week growing their business, you have to ask yourself the question, at what cost? Hi, my name is Tim Uchuk, and in this podcast, we're going to be exploring the tools, tactics, and strategies for crushing it and scaling your business without making the ultimate sacrifice of your time and freedom. Hey, what's up everyone? Tim Uchuk here. And if I sound out of breath, it's because I am a little bit. I just, I'm in San Diego for three days here uh, for some corporate meetings with one of our partners. And uh, I've been in a hotel all day. So I thought I would sneak out, go for a run. And I took a trail with the title Strenuous Route. And uh, it's going uphill, so I thought it would offer a good view. And it didn't disappoint, but I'm a little bit out of breath. Um, So let's jump into the episode here. This is an important episode. Um, If you have ever felt discouraged by trying things and they don't work, and I wanna talk to you about something uh, specifically known as the scientific method. And spoiler alert, we're all scientists in some form or another, meaning that we're experimenting on this this journey called life and life as an entrepreneur. The only difference is some of us are, are good scientists and some of us learn a little bit more slowly. It takes a little bit more time to learn Um, So what do I mean by we're all scientists and and the scientific method? Well, there's a formula when it comes to, you know, as a scientist, you're discovering, you know, cures, you know, cures for different diseases and ailments. And the process is geared around learning fast, learning quickly. So why not adopt this method if you're an entrepreneur? Because being an entrepreneur, really, when you boil it down, is, is solving problems and knocking them down. And then facing a new problem, solving it, knocking it down, on to the next. So it's, it's no secret that when you look at entrepreneurs like Elon Musk, uh, Jeff Bezos, all the best uh, entrepreneurs out there, they like to borrow the scientific method because they wanna learn fast, fail fast, fail forward. And that's what I wanna talk to you about. So what is the scientific method in terms of its formula? The acronym goes PDCA. You may have heard this, PDCA, which stands for plan, do, check, adjust. Plan, do, check, adjust. Now what's, what's interesting about this is that failure is built into the process. They assume out of the gates that it's going to fail. And what a, what a great way to look at adapting and innovating is assuming you're gonna fail, right? It's, uh, it's the progress over perfection. It's the systematic process for improving and discovering new things. So. The entrepreneurs follow this path and um, it's one that I think you should consider because it sets you up for success in that you're expecting failure. And so plan, do, check, adjust. What does that stand for? What does it really mean? Well, plan, pretty obviously, you're wanting to solve something. You're wanting to innovate something. It's probably a problem or challenge within your business. And so you gather your your evidence and, and you put a plan together. And then you do it, you execute. Then you check your results. Did it actually work? and you throw out the stuff that didn't work and you keep the stuff that did, and then you repeat the cycle. PDCA, plan, do, check, adjust. I'm gonna turn around here, it's getting a little wily on this trail. Plan, do, check, adjust, right? And so it's a never ending cycle. That's why I sound like a broken record um, to my team and clients when I repeat over and over again, it's a marathon, not a sprint, and you have to expect failure. Now, it, it doesn't mean that we're, kind of bumbling around um, aimlessly, we want to fail fast. And that's, uh, that's why if you're, if you're running a study as a scientist, the very first thing you do is you don't want to publish a paper that's already been written. And so the first thing that I do and, and, and uh, what I've seen most other entrepreneurs do is, is you look, has this been done before? And you know what? The funny thing is most of the problems that we face, 99.99999% of the time, somebody's figured it out, which is beautiful, right? And so if we can be resourceful and figure out a shortcut or at least model um, some patterns where it's already been solved out there, we've got these great shortcuts where, you know, oftentimes um, scientists are, are entering a, a no man's land where um, the problem set has not been um, looked at before. But that's the first thing they do so you're not um, uh, facing redundancy and, um, you know, having to go through that discovery phase where it's already been figured out. So same thing in your business. If there's a challenge, whether it be um, hiring, 
um, looking for a tool, right? Looking for a tool, for example, within your business that's going to solve a lot of problems. Um, you might go out there and, and talk to other business owners who you think have already solved it. Or, you know, our good friend Google. You might find some good articles, YouTube videos, and just find um, some patterns or some clues on that trail so that you're not starting from, from ground zero. But this is a little bit of insight in terms of um, our cycle, our mindset, at least within my business that we're trying to cultivate culturally is, um, you know, progress over perfection. And uh, PDCA is, is the method that we use and it's okay to fail. And um, a byproduct of that, by the way, if you have a culture that is not set up around perfection, people are gonna be less prone to hide problems. And when, when people hide problems culturally, not a good thing, because if you can't see the problem, you can't solve the problem, right? So there's some inherent benefits there um, as well through that transparent approach where you assume um, failure um, will happen, right? So that's what I wanted to share with you, PDCA, Plan, Do, Check, Adjust. Again, we're all scientists. Um, the better ones just happen to uh, learn faster, right? Fail fast and improve and innovate. Um, PDCA, Plan, Do, Check, Adjust. Hope that was helpful. I'm going to try and find this hotel <laughs> and get back before the sun goes down. Um, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Hey, Tim Uchuck here. And real quick, if you enjoyed this podcast episode, if you could take a couple quick seconds to give it a rating, it would be very much appreciated. And secondly, if you're looking for more tools and strategies on how you can crush it in life and business, just head on over to bookwithtim.com where I've put together a free case study which shows you how to unlock unprecedented freedom today by using the two power levers. Just head on over to bookwithtim.com. Until next time, wishing you success and freedom in your business. Cheers.